if you live in Shanghai long enough, you know this highway has the worst traffic. But now look at it. Hello everyone, this is Mavis reporting from Shanghai. Now it's 7 a.m. I decided to go out for a little bike ride to see what's up with Shanghai. This feels absolutely weird. Look at the city; I can barely recognize it.、It's、just so empty. There are buses everywhere, probably waiting to send people to the quarantine places. And then we have PCR test spots everywhere in the corner of Shanghai now. There's just one right there. So you can get no taxi right now in the city. You can either walk, or take a bike, or just get, you know, cars with a license by paying a lot of price. Okay, I just got stopped by the police because when you are trying to enter different district, they're gonna see if you have the license to pass, and then they're gonna check your health code, seeing if you are COVID positive. I'm waiting for the police to give me the notice if I can pass or not. Well, that was an experience. I was so nervous because they were asking me where I'm coming from and where do you live. Do you have a like a pass from the neighborhood you are living in? Are you allowed to go in and out? And I have, <laughs> I have basically none of them. But still, I get to pass it. I'm right now on Changde Road. This is supposed to be one of the busiest street in Jing'an. And look at it right now. At 8 a.m. I've never seen this side of Shanghai, and it's probably the only time I would see it like this. Surely is weird, but it's like a special moment. I feel like I'm in a parallel universe. Take a look at all of these commercial buildings and shopping malls. They're all closed. It reminds me of Detroit when the city went bankrupt and the bus is totally empty. This is Zhongshan Park. I can't believe it. There are gonna be PCR test spots like this all over Shanghai, maybe the entire China. By the time we're released, we're gonna be asked to do PCR test the whole time, every day probably. And you can just pop up at any street corner and do a COVID test, just like how you order a bubble tea. How easy it is! See the community health center here. Right now, like people are trying to get in, but they're having an argument because you need 48 hour negative COVID test to get in. If you don't have a COVID test, Stand by. You cannot be treated because you cannot enter. And gym is here closed. The only place where people can build up their muscle and get healthier. Nowhere to be open. Well, even though I'm free as a bird right now, I have no clue what I'm gonna do today. Even though people are released, what you gonna do with a city like this? Everything is still closed. No public transportation so far. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna have fun? Guys, just just let the plants grow. I don't know why they need to cut them when there is nobody going out to see it. I'm trying to go to a convenience store to buy some water and some coffee, maybe because I didn't have any breakfast. And look at this situation! Like I have to line up to go into a convenience store, and I also need to check my COVID test result. 
I got some bread and water from the family mart. What an experience! I have to grab whatever I want immediately. And there's no time to think. So now the problem is, I have to find a place that there's no people around so I can't eat my food. Once you take your mask off, everybody's gonna look at you like you're a fucking alien. As long as it's a public place, you have to show a COVID test. It has to be done and showed negative within 24 hours. Imagine if you're just someone that happened to not do a COVID test in time and your life is limited. You can basically do nothing. These are all the real estate agents that have been closed for at least one and a half months. And real estate is probably one of the most important industry or business in China. So imagine if it's all closed for at least two months. Everything outside has changed. And police cars everywhere, ambulance, buses that are transferring people to a quarantine place or somewhere else. God knows where. You don't feel secure. Something could happen anytime. You just don't know. I find a little spot to eat my lunch on the street because I really cannot find any private place to eat it. Honestly, when there's not so many people on the street, Shanghai feels a little bit sketchy. Like, hmm, maybe it would not be so safe. Thank God I prepared some food on the way. I'm literally eating stuff at a bus station. You know what? I seriously feel like right now I'm a homeless person. This is really like such a new experience for me. Usually if you're walking on the street, you can just go into a coffee shop, a restaurant, just to have food. And now, you gotta pack your own food. Okay, so this is totally spontaneous. I just found out one of my friends lived nearby, here, in Hongqiao. So, I think I'm gonna visit her. Well, this feels actually pretty chill. I feel like I'm exploring a foreign city just by myself. to order food outside the convenience store and the store lady is gonna get all the food for me this year hello I'm super drunk right now, but the weather is so good. Okay, it's right now almost one. I'm still in Hongqiao Road. Now I'm going to ride my bike to actually Xingle Road. It's gonna take 40 minutes, but it's gonna be fine. not believe that we started working this is not the reality look at the street who's going to work right now because that's not what I see so far it's midday on a Monday I need to thank Cassie. Hey. <laughs> Did the best nails ever. And also waxing. So, highly recommend. Off we go again. Now I'm going to see my friend Cheeto.
们是男同吗？感觉不够浓。我刚喝了一瓶啤酒，我都提回来有点呛，干了这杯。<笑>干了吗、oh. ？It's been a long day. Time to go home. Super drunk. <笑>